All right, I've been holding this up for the thumbnail for a while and it's getting heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know this, but I recently got back from a trip to Italy. It was an amazing experience. I went for 12 days and 10 nights and it was a bit of a whirlwind. I did try to take pictures and videos all over the place. I didn't vlog a lot on the trip, but I did take a lot of pictures and videos. So I'm going to try to get at least one or two videos out on YouTube on my channel about the actual experience. So it's more gonna be a sit down story time, but I hope it'll be enjoyable. Uh, feel free to stay tuned for that if you like that sort of thing. It was a lot of fun. I also did make a purchase or two, so I will be sharing that in a video as well. So stay tuned for that. But today I wanted to talk to you about what I brought in my carry-on bag. And I went with a friend, we ended up packing two carry-on luggage pieces and then we each had a carry-on bag as well, our personal item. And my personal item was my Kvass Meso. And now you've probably seen this bag before on my channel because I did a video where I bought it pre-loved from Japan on eBay. And I also did a video where I cleaned it up and uh, spruced it up a lot and cleaned up the vachetta and uh, cleaned up the canvas and that's a video if you're interested in checking that out I'll link that above and below for you but I don't use this bag very often as an everyday bag I bought this primarily for a travel bag I was going to use it as a work bag too but my kibas piano my smaller size works really well for that so mostly that's what that is used for but this travel bag it's huge as you can tell not as big as like the Nella for full GM this is about Never full MM comparable, I think, maybe a little bit bigger, but the really nice thing about this bag is it has a zipper on the top, which means security, and also if it falls over, all your stuff isn't spilling all over the place. And so yeah, this was my travel carry-on personal item bag, and it fits so much, and I figured today I would just share with you what fits inside this bag, and thus what I took with me as my carry-on on the trip. So I figured for a what fits, I'd just point the camera at the bag so I wasn't like holding it up and just pulling things out and that might be a little bit easier for you to see. So I'm gonna just flip the camera around now and just a second. So here it is, my kibas meso. And as you can see, it is stuffed pretty full. It is quite heavy, but because it is a shoulder bag, it's pretty easy to carry on the shoulder and I don't feel it as much. It also sits pretty nicely on top of a piece of luggage. So I didn't really carry it for a lot of the trip. I just set it on my rolling luggage and then just put, moved it that way. So I am gonna just open it now and show you what is inside. As you can see, it is obviously packed full. And I also want to say that because I am back from my trip, there are some things that I put in here as like stand-in props, which I'm going to explain as I pull them out. But uh, for the most part, this is exactly what I carried on the trip with a couple of exceptions. So the first thing I'm going to show you, and this is probably the most random thing in this bag, but it is this. And this is a package of chocolates. This is a stand-in. This isn't what I took with me on the trip because this package of chocolates wasn't for me. Every time I travel by plane, I always buy a box or a nice like wrapped bag of wrapped chocolates, individual chocolates for the flight crew. And I've been doing it for, for years. Um, I, I don't know when I started, but I think I was like a literal child, like a teenager where I was just like, I'm gonna bring something for the flight crew. And they were so appreciative that I do it every single time now. So I brought a package of like lint truffles of a mixed box, like a really nice one. And I just kept that in my bag until I got on the plane, gave it to the flight crew, and then I no longer had to have it in my bag. But that did uh, start out in my bag to begin with. Next thing is this. This is just a Ziploc baggie with a couple of washcloths and a glasses cleaning cloth inside of it. I got into this habit when I traveled to Japan for the very first time back in 2000 and oh gosh, 2010, 2009, of many years ago, I think it was 2009. And in Japan, they have a bunch of public washrooms, but it's pretty common for you to carry your own washcloth or towel with you to dry your hands. And so I just got into the habit of doing so, and it's really come in handy when I travel. So I, I just do that. This is actually a cloth that I bought in Japan. I'm gonna show it to you because it's super cute. It is uh, from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is a Studio Ghibli movie that I love. It's very near and dear to my heart. It is a cartoon animated movie that uh, is from my childhood, and uh, I just thought it was so cute. And this is Gigi the Cat from Kiki's Delivery Service. So that also came with me in the bag. 
Next up, and I'm gonna just pull this out right now because obviously you can see that it fits. This is my iPad. It is an iPad Air 3 with a pretty bulky case on it and a pen on the side, and that fits in my mezzo really nicely. Obviously it fit up and down, but it will fit sideways too. I just put it up and down because it fit that way and it was easy. So yeah, this fits a large iPad. This was definitely fit an iPad Pro as well and super handy, obviously very important to take with me on a trip. Also in the back is this manila folder. This is just filled with my paperwork. So it's got my boarding pass information, travel information, maps if I printed it up, also my medication list because sometimes you need to have information on your medications to take them into different countries and Italy was one of them. Luckily I didn't actually get stopped for my medications going into Italy, but it is something that I have had to do for other countries. So I just wanna make sure that it's all clean and neat and in a convenient location. This also has a copy of my passport driver's license and a vaccination card, like a paper copy that I just made on my printer. So that's a just in case thing to have with you. And I definitely recommend carrying one of those with you just in case when you travel too. So there's that. This is a little pouch that is obviously not a luxury pouch. I don't actually know what it is from. I think it says Kestrel on it. I got this as a gift many years ago, back when I was a martial arts instructor, um, when I left my school, I got several beautiful gifts from different kids and different families and flowers and all that sort of thing. It was very, very touching. And this was a gift that a little boy got for me that he picked out himself according to his father. And he was like, I think five. And he just like thought that I guess I would like it as an instructor. So I just keep it with me. This keeps all my electronics in it when I travel because it's waterproof. Uh, it's nylon. And so I just keep my charger, my battery, and a bunch of my charging cords and cables inside that. It's really good because yeah, it zips up, it fits everything really compactly and again, waterproof. So very nice to have. Glasses case. This obviously it probably needs no uh, instruction or introductions. It's just a glasses case as an in-case thing. Oh, water bottle. This is a 12 ounce water bottle. It is a hot cold water bottle and it is metal obviously. And I got this as a gift from a friend because this is like a little squatty thing that fits actually in most of my medium sized handbags. This fits really nicely in all of my LV bags and it actually fits in my Chanel Mademoiselle Jumbo too really easily. So that's really cool and nice to have and always good to travel with a water bottle. Plus it's got space on it, which is really neat. And obviously this is for designed for a child, but I just think it's cute. So there you go. Next up is a bunch of masks in a Ziploc baggie just for sanitary and safety purposes. I don't think that this needs any more explanation than that. Then we have a little notebook here. This is from uh, Clementine Paper Ink. I really like their stuff. They have a really nice paperweight and their notebooks are a really good size. They're a little bit bigger than I normally would like in a notebook, but it's impossible to find small spiral bound notebooks. And I almost exclusively use spiral bound notebooks, which I am apparently an outlier for that, but I really like spiral bound and I always carry a notebook with me just basically whenever. And this, I didn't actually end up using this at all, but I kind of need a notebook on me as like a safety blanket sometimes, but that's, that's that. And it's really nice. And the little bookmark inside is this cute little thing that I got with my sibling when I went to Japan with them in 2019. And that was a really well-timed trip because it was right before everything like closed up and closed down. So that's just really cute. And I love it. And it's my little notebook bookmark. You might be wondering what this thing is. So this is just a reusable bag that folds up really nicely. It's covered in watermelons and it folds up into like this cute little strawberry thing. And inside this is just a bunch of stuff that I wanted to keep kind of separate in my bag, but still kept in my bag. And then once I took them out when I got there, I had a little reusable bag to use as like a shopper if I went to like the grocery store or a market, which I did do with my friend at least once. And so inside here is just like stuff, like I've got a pair of socks and like an extra pair of underwear in here. I got a snack bar. I've got a pack of tissues. I might have two packs of tissues. I also have my sleeping gloves for on the plane. I sleep with gloves on my hands, which is a very unusual quirk. I'm quite aware of that, but I, I do. I have since I was literally 16 years old. And at this point I can't sleep without gloves. Like I won't fall asleep if I don't have gloves on my hands. So I always have to carry a pair of sleeping gloves with me when I travel, which is very, very unusual. I'm quite aware, but that is what it is. And then I also have a sleeping mask in here, a silk sleeping mask. So. And then again, when I take everything out, I have like a little foldable bag that is just very convenient. And I have used this a number of times when I travel. We're not done, we're not done. So in here is a, it's a little makeup kit. 
And in this, this is just from Clinique. I got it when I got some uh, makeup together. It, was, it came with a little kit. And in here is just a little bottle of travel ibuprofen, some non-drowsy neuramamine, which is very important for me when I travel on planes and buses and trains. I have some eye drops in here because my eyes do get super dry when I travel. I also have a chapstick and not inside this bag, but what I did carry with me was one of my prescription medications and that little piece of paper was another piece of paper that showed for my doctor and also in Italian what the medication was and what it was used for. So just in case for safety, I got stopped or something. That was what that all was. Bottomless pit, isn't it? I love this bag. It is so useful. It's so good. A great travel bag. Highly recommend, but this is my little tuppy. It is my travel Wi-Fi kit. So when I travel abroad, I usually rent a travel Wi-Fi kit if I'm not going to be using my phone or service, because sometimes I just don't want to bother to do that. And Tepi is a program that you can rent travel Wi-Fi, and I think it was something like eight or nine dollars for five gigs a day, which was plenty for me. And then my obviously my hotels had Wi-Fi in them. So it just is this little portable kit that you charge every night and just carry in your bag. And then it comes with a very use useful universal charger, which is quite nice to have, and then a little uh, kit and stuff to uh, call them if you need any help. So I, I do recommend traveling with a travel Wi-Fi if you're not going to use your service for that. And Tepi is a pretty good program, so I would recommend them. We are finally coming down to the end, I promise. Just a few more things to go. I just have some gum. This is Trident sugar-free gum with xylitol in it. Good for travel. I don't think this needs a lot of explanation. I, it's gum. My sunglasses. These are my Fendachi sunglasses in their little Fendi case that they came with. I have a video on these. I love them so much. They are so cool. I did end up wearing my contacts a lot on this trip just because it helps with, you know, not having my glasses fog up when I had my mask on. Or just in general, it was easier to not deal with glasses sometimes. And when the sun was out, you wanted sunglasses on, then I was able to use these and they were really fun to wear. I really, I really enjoyed wearing them when I had reason to, even when I didn't have reason to. They were just, they're very stylish and cool and I like them a lot and I will link that video because I am so overjoyed with having them. Tucked down in a corner is just my other universal charger. I just got this off Amazon, I think, many years ago. It has served me well and it's just like good to have an extra and I keep this on me in my bag. So in the terrifying event that my carry-on or my luggage gets lost for some reason, which did actually happen and is a story for another day. Um, I, I do carry this with me in my bag. And then in the zipper pocket, which is a little bit more secure, I have my wallet. This is my Recto Verso. I love this thing. I use it all the time. This was my wallet that I used while I was in Italy. And it was just, the organization is so great. I had my cards in here on this side. I had my ID in here as a just in case. I had money in here and then like additional bigger bills in here and just real good, real good. I love this so much that I want to buy a second. I want to get one in the uh, Damier Azure. So I have to track that down because I just, I, I really want a second and it, yes, very good. Recommend, very good. Then my phone, this is the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Mac, just the Pro with a ginormous case on it and a little MindSky uh, thing here, which is a phone stand slash uh, selfie stick and everything. I think this thing is so great and so useful. I will link it for you below because I highly recommend it. I use it for every phone that I buy now. I just buy a new one and it's just, it's so great and so versatile and it like flips around when you need it to and just so good. I, yeah, if you want to use your phone for filming and don't want to use like a selfie stick or carry a tripod with you, this thing is fantastic. Like you just, there you go. You know, it's, it's just so, so recommend, highly recommend. So I will link this for you because it's, it's great. This is my little coach legacy pattern, uh, kiss lock coin pouch. And I did use it for all of my coins when I was in Italy. I have a lot left over as you can see, but I don't care because I can always use them for something else. And it's just really cool. I got this for like $25 off of a preload website uh, many moons ago. And it's just really cute. And I don't have a lot of opportunity to use it because I don't really use a lot of coins. And I just needed something for this trip. And I was like, wait a second, I can use this finally. Awesome, so I did. And last but certainly not least, I have my earbuds in here and my 
uh, wired headphones. And I also brought a splitter with us so me and my friend could watch things on the plane uh, at the same time off of one of our iPads. And yeah, it, which we did do. So it was very useful to bring. So this was just for the plane and this was for not on the plane whenever I needed them. So these were the last things to fit in my bag, but obviously very important things. And that is everything. My kibas meso is finally empty. And obviously, as you can tell, it is a bottomless pit. It fits so much stuff. I'm gonna pan around now to show you what actually did completely fit inside this thing because it was, as you can obviously tell from this video, an amazing, amazing amount. And here is everything that fits in my kibas and meso as my carry-on personal item for my trip to Italy. And there you have it. That was everything that fit inside my Louis Vuitton kibas meso for my trip to Italy. Obviously, as you can tell from what I just showed you, it is a lot of stuff and it fit really nicely and really well inside of my bag. I could always find what I needed. I carried plenty and I didn't really want for anything in my bag. I had room for the chocolates and then once I took the chocolates out, I had extra room even, plenty of room for snacks as well. And just like this bag is so good, fits so much, highly recommend. You can get them on the pre-love market for very, very reasonable prices. I will link some on reputable pre-love websites like Fashion File if you want, but I also recommend looking at eBay. I did make a video a bit ago about what to look for when you're buying Louis Vuitton pre-love, so I'll link that video for you because it is, I think, useful when searching for pre-love Louis Vuitton in terms of looking for quality, condition, um, wear, so I'll link that video for you. But yeah, this was, this was such a good bag to take with me. I'm so glad that I bought it when I did. I'm so glad that I had it to use it when I needed to, and it will definitely be my travel carry-on bag for future trips. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I don't normally do like dedicated what's in my bags videos so I hope that you did enjoy. Please let me know what you thought about this video if you would like more videos like this on other bags that I have or if you thought this was super boring that's also fine I do understand but thank you so much for watching if you did watch it all the way through please give it a like because it super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.